It's not fair how the world decides who wins. It's almost comical how stupid it is sometimes. The ones who are lucky enough to be born with advantages always succeed. And those of us who dream never do. It's not that I didn't understand it. It's just that I realized there's no point to it all. I was fine until my junior year when I stumbled on that one test. Everything came crashing down. Everything came crashing down. I was surrounded by a bunch of fake promises and happy tomorrows. A couple of times I fooled myself. Made myself believe that I was going to go back to my old friends and everything was okay. That my teachers would talk to me in my grades and everything was going to be fine. That there was hope for me yet. Then reality kicked back in. That bridge was burned. That conversation, never going to happen. I was always going to be alone. I mean, just look at her. Perfection. Probably didn't even bother studying. Everyone Ms. Raven, what right do you have to be sleeping in my class today? Her? In trouble? I don't no. care what happened. Today's a new day. Get your bag and go to the office. At the time, I couldn't believe it. Her? Mrs. Perfect Friends? Mrs. Didn't Miss a Single One? But I had no idea about how much sacrifice it takes to get there. The stress. The strain. Those endless nights. My entire belief system at the time was centered around the idea that she didn't work. Then everything changed. Again. Curiosity got the better of me and my search began. People spent their entire lives working towards success. Hope does not consist of the expectation that things will come out exactly right, but the expectation that they will make sense regardless. I haven't. I haven't fought for it. I just moped around and put up larger walls for me to climb. Back to the whole relationship issue, what they figured out through this exercise was that a simple mistake can tell me what you're not, or it can remind me of why I should love you. I decided that it was time to change. Time is panic. Panic is the great access of the creativity because that's the only way to get rid of your mind. Get rid of your mind. Get, get out of it. Get I talked to everyone, teachers, counselors, even our principal. They said that it was unlikely, almost impossible. Your mind and that people tell you that it's impossible to make well that's an even better reason to want to do it because people have a tendency to see the problems rather than the final result whereas the crazier things have happened i refuse to let that get me down now i guess what i'm trying to say is that my story doesn't have to be yours it wasn't the end of the world i was never alone i guess you just gotta change your mentality